The Panasonic G9 has several options to help you optimize the autofocus system depending on what type of photography you're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and look at the camera and walk through the autofocus system. First point is that we have this dial that allows you to switch between our top option which is AFS or AFF. AFS is pretty simple, stands for autofocus single. AFF stands for autofocus flexible. To access that, go into the camera's menu. We want to be on the top tab, which is the camera tab. We want to be page one of five. And you'll see an option that says AFS, AFF. To switch to AFF, we select there. And AFF is going to be flexible. It's going to try to autofocus as TJ moves forward and backward. It's going to try to track him, but it's only going to make changes if it feels those changes would help to sharpen the image. It's not constantly autofocusing with every movement he makes. We're going to go ahead and set this back to AFS. Flip the switch down if you plan on doing any sports or wildlife. For anything, you've got to track the subject constantly. AFC is autofocus continuous. The bottom option is MF, or manual focus. Please keep in mind that some of our lenses have a switch on the side that also switches between autofocus and manual focus. If the switch on the side of the lens is on manual focus, your camera is on manual focus, regardless of what you have the back switch set to. So we're, for the remainder of these demos, we're going to switch the camera to the AFS, or autofocus single mode. From here, we're going to access the different autofocus functions. You can do that by either pressing the quick menu. This option here in the upper right hand corner is your autofocus options. Your other way of accessing it is function one. The symbol above is our autofocus symbol. From here, we can select our different options. The option to the left is face and eye detection. Face and eye detection is fantastic for portraits. So what we're going to do is we're going to select face and eye detect. And the first thing you should notice is that we have a yellow box that surrounds TJ's face. But there's also a little white crosshatch pattern that's on his right eye. And every once in a while, if TJ moves his head a little bit, you'll see that crosshatch pattern jumping around because it doesn't really know which eye we want to focus on. But if I just touch TJ's left eye, now, as TJ moves his face, you'll see that it stays on his left eye. In addition, if TJ turns his head completely out of camera, it loses face detection and it switches to something we call body detection or torso tracking. This is a function of our deep learning. It allows the camera to know that this is a person and we still want to track the focus of that person. So if it was a runway model walking out of camera and back into camera, turning and walking away, turning and walking in, it would keep tracking without any problem. Our next autofocus option is called tracking. With tracking, I have the ability to touch the screen on a subject and I've touched TJ's head here and what it'll do is it'll track and move with him. So as he's moving around it's tracking him. If he were to move forward or backward it knows how to track that subject. Again great for tracking moving subjects. Our next function is our 225 area autofocus function. This is going to use all 225 points on the screen and right now it's going to try to guess at what I want to have in focus. So you can see that it's actually focusing right around TJ's face right now. But if I wanted to focus on that Panasonic logo on his shirt, I simply select that quadrant of 225 points and it'll keep focusing there. Or I can touch TJ's face. Or you can use the joystick function and you can move the joystick to where we want it to focus and it'll choose those focus points for us. Our next autofocus option is a custom mode. This allows you to select your own customized settings for the autofocus system. So if I wanted to just choose the lower left hand quadrant because I was shooting a NASCAR race and the cars kept passing that point, it'll only focus in that point for that NASCAR uh, autofocus opportunity. Our next option is one area. So with one area, it's just going to be a single box. It's important to note that you can take your fingers and you can pinch and make that box smaller or bigger or you can use your thumb to make it smaller or bigger. You can move it around the screen with your finger or you can use the joystick to move it. We'll put that box right on TJ's eye, take a picture, and now it's focused right on TJ's eye. Now if you're very picky about autofocus, our last function is called pinpoint. With pinpoint you'll see a little crosshatch pattern, a little X. And as we put that up right on TJ's eye, you can also use your finger to move it as well. 
When we press the autofocus button, you can see it actually magnifies the image. So I can really make sure that it's in perfect focus before I take that photograph. And those are all the autofocus options of the G9.